Camera bra adjustments are grouped in a set of tabs that are located on the right hand side of the workspace. And what I'd like to do is go over these for you and um, kind of walk you through uh, what each adjustment is. And I think at this point it might be good if you opened up a, an image along with me and walk through as well. So then you can kind of play around with the different sliders here. So these are the adjustments. They're, um, they're right here um, underneath the histogram. And these, each little icon here represents a different adjustment that you can make. And every time you click on one of these adjustments, it will take you into that, um, that adjustments panel where you can make those adjustments. So let's start here with basic. So with the basic adjustments, you have a black and white, you have color adjustments, you have exposure, contrast, highlights and shadows, whites and blacks, clarity, dehaze, vibrance, and saturation. So these are really basic image adjustments, and I think they're probably going to be the most common adjustments that you make, um, that you create or give an image. So here, um, Starting up here at the top, you can just, again, play around with these on your own. I highly recommend it. So you have um, your temperature or white balance. And every time you make an adjustment, if you want to reset it, you can double click on that and it will go back to the zero point. Um, so temperature and tint, those are some color adjustments. Um, you can actually up here, you can go from color to black and white real easily. Um, here with exposure, we can make adjustments to make it brighter or darker. And here you can either enhance your image or correct for something that is a problem like over or under exposure. Um, you can manipulate the contrast, higher contrast, lower contrast. Um, you can affect just highlights, just shadows, whites and blacks, white point and black point. So again, if you just simply double click on each of these that you make an adjustment to, it will reset it back to zero. Clarity is kind of a mid-tone contrast. Um, Dehaze uh, actually uh, works better if you're looking at a landscape photograph. Vibrance saturates um, under-saturated colors. And saturation is a global, global um, adjustment to color vibrancy. So I think this is going to be the most common adjustment that you'll make. Um, if we go through here, you also have tone curve, which is specifically um, adjustments to highlights and shadows, influencing contrast. You have detail, which includes sharpening as well as noise reduction. We have an HSL adjustment, which stands for hue, saturation, and luminance. Hue is the color. Saturation is the vibrancy of color. Luminance is the intent, or is the brightness or darkness of that color, and each of these, again, you have individual adjustments that you can make um, to each of those. You have a split toning adjustment, which influences color in your highlights and shadows, or color differences in your highlights and shadows. You have a lens correction, where you can influence a profile or um, make more specific manual adjustments. And here I can enable the profile corrections and you can see a big difference that happens to the image. I would say this is going to be a really common one that you use as well. I mean, you probably want to play around with all of them, but I'd say as a photographer, this one is uh, going to be one of the most popular that you use. Um, then you have effects, which are grain and vignetting. Calibration, this is your camera calibration. You can go in and change these processing versions of your camera. And then there's a whole bunch of different creative um, presets that actually give a, a kind of a preset look to your photograph based on some real popular um, configurations. So you can go through and play with those. And you notice that when I'm in here and I hover the cursor over them, you can see the change being applied, but it's not actually being applied unless I click on it. And again, you can always undo these changes very easily. 
This very last one here is snapshots. So again, I think the most common adjustments you're going to make are going to be found here in the basic. There also some common adjustments will be in the lens corrections. And you may also find yourself doing some hue, saturation, and luminance adjustments. Not saying that you won't use any of these others, but these are the most common. So here, I think this is what I like to do a lot. I like to add just a little bit of warmth with the temperature. And depending on the photograph, I like to actually maybe bump up the brightness a little bit, especially if it's a raw image. And same with the contrast. And then if I bump up the highlights, maybe I can, or bump up the contrast and exposure, I can maybe take down the highlights um, and bring those back a little bit. Um, and then add a little mid-tone clarity and maybe some overall global saturation. So again, just some little adjustments that you can make. And once I'm satisfied with that, I can either open it in Photoshop or commit and hit done. And when it closes in, uh, back into Bridge, you can see that these are the adjustments. So this is the set of instructions that Camera Raw is applying to the image. Um, so it's not actually making changes to the actual image, but it's, it's just a set of instructions. Next, we will go over the tools in Camera Raw.